Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and sometimes the desire for technology or tools follows popular or current events. Uh, let's say North Korea starts rattling its saber, there's an uptick in the people who want radiation monitors like this, just in case there's some fallout they need to measure, uh, COVID hits, and all of a sudden pulse oximeters were the next hot gift. There was actually a run on them, um, you know, get one for the whole family. Um, UV sterilizers are popular. These are high powered. These are pretty dangerous. I mean, you have to leave the room if you're using this kind of thing. Um, but that's another thing that all of a sudden there was a big need. Um, well, gas detectors are in that now. Now I've used these things for years. This was one of my first ones uh, and I was really disappointed with it. So I got the Klein when it came out um, and it was good. It's, it's a simple interface. It's like one of their inexpensive um, multimeters. Uh, but then Top Test sent me one of these, uh, this PT-210, which was a very small, inexpensive um, uh, gas leak detector. Detects all kinds of different things. Um, and I did a video head to head with the, <clears throat> the Klein. Worked great, very fast. Um, but they've got a new one out, Top Test does. And this is the Top Test PT-520A. And this is a gooseneck uh, they call it a gas leak detector, but it picks up all kinds of things, um, including acetone and acetylene, alcohol, ammonia, benzene, butane, ethanol, ethylene dioxide, or oxide, gasoline, hexane, hydrogen, methane, naphthala, natural gas, paint thinner, propane, organic solvents, refrigerants, all kinds of different things. It has three different settings. The low setting here, uh, if I just, I, I also like the buttons, um, just it's they're they're to the point here apo is the the automatic power off so if i'm going to use this and let it run constantly you can see the little indicator turns on and off um, this will keep it running um, imagine a scenario say a train wreck in your town and you wanted to have this thing on non-stop as an alert in case you ever exceeded a certain value those values on the low end that's anything basically 700 parts per million or um or less. The medium is anything about 400 parts per million or less, and then high is about 50 um, parts per million, or excuse me, greater, not less. Um, so those things uh, can give you some idea as to what's going on. You can also cross-reference maybe what you're hearing about if there, you happen to be in any kind of an area where there might be something going on. Now, a fast way to test these things is usually they recommend is a Bic lighter. So you can literally zap the uh, You've got, I've got all three heads here. I'm going to turn on the uh, noise. This thing is just always chirping. Um, but I can click this on right here. I'll just move this one out of the way. I'll just hold it. Um, I can just hit this. And you can see they all go nuts. And then I can clear that out. And it'll they'll calm down. What I'm going to do, I'm going to quiet these two here and focus on this one. This actually gives me a, uh, an, a visual indication here as well as the noise um, across the different settings. So I can, let's say I zap it here. I'll hit it again here with the lighter. And you set this up maybe so you can see the thing. Okay, here we go. So it goes nuts on high. I can turn it to medium sensitivity to get an idea of what's going on. Now the sensitivity is not uh, reflected here, it's the alert. So if I fire this thing in, my lighter might be... Wow, it's dead. No, it should be firing. There we go. Um, you can see it goes crazy here, but if you watch when the alarm goes off, or stops going off. So you can see we've got three different colors, and those correspond to the low, medium, and high. Um, so it gives me kind of that second opinion uh, as far as what's going on. A few other things. Uh, here's some Zippo lighter fluid. I can give this a little bit of a squirt. I'm not spraying the lighter fluid, just kind of breathing the can here in the way. Kicks that off pretty fast. You can see that, just squeezing that. Um, 
If I use this WD-40, I can spray that. This is the dry lube, it's pretty strong. Whoops, missed my thing here, good enough. Um, if I get that close, it fires off, goes crazy then. Others, here's some rubber cement. Now what's interesting about this is this must be a pretty heavy organic uh, because sometimes it picks it up down here as I was testing it because this one fired off. So you can see it's picking that up. It's kind of wild. It's a heavy, uh, heavy compound. Um, I tried alcohol. It's supposed to pick up alcohol. I don't know if isopropyl, um, you know, it's setting it off does detect it. This is pretty weak. Uh, this is was a surprising one. I mean, this stuff is really strong. Super glue here. Here's Gorilla Glue. Um, but, as I was testing some different materials, maybe it's because this isn't fresh, I wasn't getting a reading on that one. So if a train car full of super glue crashes, I don't know if this will help. But anyway, I thought I'd bring this to your attention. It's pretty cool, pretty inexpensive. There's all kinds of these all of a sudden on the market, and that's because people are concerned. They want to know whether or not some, you know, the air is healthy to breathe or, or some crazy chemical is, is going nuts. Wow, the Klein is just going crazy because I can smell that rubber cement. Um, but anyway, this... this uh, uh, is available right now. It's a brand new one. But if you don't have something like this in your kind of preparation kit, or you happen to do your own natural gas lines, or you're curious about something. I was actually in the garage the other day, and I think I have a gas can leak. I have a bunch of different um, uh, plastic gas cans, and I was smelling a little bit. Um, and this would allow me probably to narrow down which one's got the strongest scent so I could then figure out which gas can I need to get rid of. But anyway, there it is, the Top Test PT520A gas leak detector. And with that, Doc out.